Therapeak SFAAV medium is a chemically defined media that was created specifically looking at adeno-associated virus production in SF9 insect cells. The media contains no animal origin components, is hydrolysate free, and due to its chemically defined formulation, it allows for easier downstream processing. As you will see in the upcoming data slides, you also get enhanced cell growth and increased AAV production. To introduce this very exciting media, I would like to turn this over to Jerome Jacques, who is the head scientist who is key in developing this formulation. Jerome? Thank you, Amber, for the kind introduction. And welcome everyone to our short video about AV production in SF9 cells and the use of our new chemically defined medium, Therapic SFAV. Many of you may be familiar with the basic terminology. Nevertheless, let me give you a brief introduction for those of you who are new in this topic. SF9 is an insect cell that originates from the fall armyworm that have been used for their capability to accept large size DNA and to produce large size protein in large quantities. One other advantage is that SF9 cells grow in suspension in a normal atmospheric environment. In an other world, they don't require CO2 gassing. This makes them easy to culture and to scale up in your manufacturing process. Those cells have been used to produce adeno-associated virus, AAV, one of the major viral vectors used in gene therapy application. Now, I would like to discuss with you a general AAV production process and see where therapy SFAV medium could help you. The production of viral vector usually starts from an unfrozen cells from a master cell bank. First, the cell's culture starts in a small shake flask and is then expanded to larger volume in vessels, generally a steer tank bioreactor. Then, the cells are infected with two different baculoviruses. The first baculovirus contain all the genetic material necessary for the cells to generate the AAV particle. The second baculovirus contains the gene of interest that will cure the target disease. After the infection, the cell will continue to produce AAV particles with the gene of interest for several days. The following step will be to harvest the cells and the supernatant and treat it to release and protect the AAV particle. Then, the viral vector particle will be purified through multiple filtration steps, dialyzed, and purified through column chromatography steps before being ready for use. Now, I would like to review with you how therapy SFAV medium can help in the different step of the AAV production process. First, we looked at the adaptability of SF9 cells from Grace's medium to five different media, as indicated in the legend of the graphic. We decided to create a master cell bank when the doubling time from one passage to another stabilized, identified by the downward arrows. As you can see with therapy SFAV medium, we were able to create our master cell bank in five passages. However, with other media tested, it took us between six and ten passages before the cells adapt to the new medium. 
following the creation of the master cell bank, we decided to look at the growth performance of SF9 cells in each medium, and more specifically the doubling time over 40 passage. We show you here the doubling time of SF9 cells in hours from TO to passage 40. You can notice that with the competitor media we tested, the doubling time fluctuates greatly from passage to passage. The doubling time fluctuation was between 30 and 80 hours in some cases. However, with therapic SFA AV medium, the doubling time over the 40 passage was stable at around 25 hours. This characteristic of therapic SFA AV will allow you to know the density of the cell sculpture at any given day, and therefore will allow you to schedule more accurately the day of infection. During this uh, culture, at passage 10, which we consider to be the passage where manufacturing production will be initiated, we set up some extra shake flask to look at the cell growth performance and viral vector production for each medium. You can see here the growth of SF9 cells from seeding at 0.5 million cells per ml throughout day 7 of culture. Most significantly, SF9 cells in therapic SFAV grow faster and reach a higher cell density, 12 million cells per ml, than other media tested. In contrast, the other media allowed the culture to only reach 9 to 10 million cells per ml, and they took until day 5 or day 6 to reach those densities. More importantly, therapic SFAV medium allowed the culture to reach 3 to 4 million cells per ml, a common cell density for infection on day 3, whereas with other media, this density was reached on day 4 or later. As a result of this faster growth with therapic SFAV medium, your manufacturing of AV particle could be reduced by a full day compared to other media tested. In addition to the growth performance, we evaluate the production of lactic acid and ammonia by SF9 cells in the different uh, media. First, we looked at the production of lactate. Initially, all media start at the same level of lactate and have a similar rate increase during the first three days of culture. However, past day four of culture, SF9 cells in therapic SFAV media start to consume the lactate to use it as a building block for other necessary element. Secondly, we looked at the ammonia buildup during SF9 culture. Therapic SFAV start with a lower level compared to other media tested, and the cell use ammonia to produce necessary elements for their growth. As a result of a lower lactate and ammonia concentration at the end of the culture with therapic SFAV medium, SF9 cells and the viral particle produced by the cells are in a less damaging environment. And in consequence, this better environment with therapic SFAV medium will improve the stability of the viral particle produced. Speaking of viral particle, we evaluated the performance of each medium for the production of AV, and more specifically, hank is a Lanza proprietary AV serotype. This is a man-made viral vector. This means that no patient have ever seen this viral vector, and thus no one has antibody to it. This allows you to treat all patients instead of just 50% of the population that haven't already developed antibodies against serotype 2, 8, or 9, and other uh, common AAV viruses. 
In this experiment, we infected 4 million cells per ml with a multiplicity of infection, MOI, of 5 for both baculoviruses. After the infection, we let the cells produce viral particle for 2, 3, 4 days and harvested sample for titration. As you can see, at day 2 and 3, the titer of NKT produced by all media tested is similar. However, between day 3 and day 4, cells that were grown and infected in therapy SFAV media have an exponential production of NKT. And at day 4, the cells in therapic SFAV medium produce more NKT per ml than any other media tested. In a subsequent experiment, we evaluate the production of another cell type, uh, AV cell type 2, this time in a 1 liter bioreactor. We compared um, therapic SFAV medium to SF902 from Thermo Fisher Scientific. For this experiment, 1 million cells were infected at the same MOI and incubated for 4 days. Post-infection, the bioreactor was sampled daily for AAV serotype 2 production through day 4. And as you can see with therapy SFAV media, the production of total AAV particle was greater than when you use SF902 media. Each day, the difference in productivity between therapic SFAV medium and SF902 grew bigger and more significant. We also look at the proportion of virus in the cells versus in the supernatal. As you can see in this comparison, on the Three post infection therapy SFAV medium has 50% of the viral particle produced already released in the supernatant versus 10% with SF902 medium. And by day 4 post infection, 80% of the AAV serotype 2 produced with therapy SFAV medium is in the supernatant versus only 50% with SF902 medium. This can have a significant impact on your downstream processing. With most of the particles in the supernate and by day 4, you will not have to harvest and leave the cells to release the viral particles. As a consequence, this has the potential to reduce the downstream process step to be performed and to increase the amount of viral particles at the end of the purification process. And with that, I hand over to you, Amber, for a summary and key takeaway notes. Thank you, Jerome, for taking us through that very exciting data about how this new product performs. In summary, Therapeak SFAAV will accelerate your speed to market since you can infect the cells one day earlier due to the accelerated growth of the SF9 cells. You achieve higher productivity using Therapeak SFAAV based on the amount of adeno-associated virus produced and the amount that is found extracellularly. You have reduced variability due to the lack of hydrolysates and the stable doubling time. It's also reduced risk for your overall process because of the lower lactate and ammonia found which promotes a better overall cell and virus health when using Therapeak SFAAV. If you're interested to learn more about this wonderful product and how you can be able to take the next step in your AAV production, please feel free to reach out to our scientific support. 
visit our website to find more supporting information about this exciting product, or reach out to your local sales specialist for more information. Thank you very much for joining Jerome and I today and allowing us this time to be able to introduce to you our Therapeak SFAAV medium. Have a good day.